Okay, YouTube, we are still cleaning up some residual fire damage and we are testing out two different products. Um, one of them is a very, very, very expensive product, Promises the World, and it happens to be this one right here. If I remember correctly, it was about $40 for that bottle. Um, it was uh, one of the door-to-door -door salesmen that uh, cleans your door for you and rubs your tires down and you know tells you how amazing it's going to clean for you. And this product uh, you get at the dollar store. It's called LA is Totally Awesome. Uh, has some amazing, amazing uses. And we are going to see which of these two products actually cleans soot off of flat paint better. Now keep in mind because it is a light colored flat paint the paint is going to be stained either way you go because it's at the ceiling level so it's going to have to be killed and repainted. What we're looking at is which gets the most off. Um, so we're going to start with the expensive product um, and then go from there and we'll do a test patch next to it with LA Totally Awesome and we'll go from there. So this spray bottle right here contains this and this spray bottle right here although it's pretty heavily used actually is LA Totally Awesome. Uh, it comes in this bigger jug right here and it also comes in a spray bottle. Um, of course I've refilled the spray bottle and you can actually see it actually says awesome. Uh, totally awesome. I refilled the spray bottle several times. I, I use this product for quite a bit of stuff. It has a lot of uses, but we'll, we'll go over that uh, a little later in the video. So um, I'm going to crawl up to the top here and I'll meet you up top. Okay, now as you can see in this corner, it's untouched. By the area that we're going to work with, um, you can see I've taken a chemical sponge and from top to bottom I have done downward strokes. It's very, very, very important for your first touch on these walls to be with a chemical sponge, a dry sponge. Um, your first touch you do not want to be with any type of wet solution, any type of water or cleaner. So your first touch is actually going to be with a, it's going to be a dry touch. Um, so you can see how bad the walls are to begin with versus what you're actually going to be working with. So it's going to be a little less um, bad to work with, a little less smutty. Uh, so definitely still have a long way to go. Okay, so when we come back, we'll get right on it. Okay, due to room up here, we're going to have to work from a weird angle uh, so that y'all can actually see. And we're going to be working with that expensive orange cleaner. Um, as you can see, our, our orange cleaner spray bottle. Um, so we're going to go ahead and spray it. Uh, and let's see how it does. I'm going to run for a minute, but I don't want it running down. So. I'm sorry if I get a little crazy with my phone here. I don't have a holder up here. Make very sure we don't get into the undry brushed area. And I've seen a lot of posts where people tell you to get a sponge mop. I can assure you that is not the best way to do this. This is your home, or if you're doing this for someone else. Okay, look at that rag. See, there's a lot of stuff still on that wall. That is horrible. Um, anyway, as I was saying, this is your home. You don't want all of this uh, mess sitting underneath kills. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. See how much is still running back down. Anyway, you want that special attention to detail by hand, if you can get it. So 
so. We're going to take a completely clean rag and just wipe it down. Okay, and that's what we're dealing with. That's what was left behind. So I have some stains, but it's not horrible. You know, hold on one moment. Okay, now we're back with the LA Totally Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and spray that onto an area. And we're going to go ahead and start wiping it down. I got it half wiped down. That rag's pretty filthy. rack is pretty bad. So we're going to get us a clean one. if we can tell a difference between the two sides. Not really. Let's spray it down again. And just Wipe it again, although there's not usually much benefit that comes from doing that, but just for the purpose of video, and we'll do it. Okay, so our results are not clean at all. I lay totally awesome. Expensive orange cleaner. There's really no difference. So, let me hop down from here and we'll do some talking. Okay, if you had a small area in your home um, that you absolutely needed to come clean, there is a trick you can use. Um, you could take a magic eraser and a small amount of Clorox cleanup, and you could have got that sparkling, sparkling brand new looking again. Um, but this surface area is monstrous in this house that needs to be cleaned up so um 
the biggest issue in this house is to get everything that we can with uh, dry wiping going over and getting uh, everything that we can get with uh, our solution and then kilsing once it's dry um, and then of course repainting so between these two products there's no way in the world that I'm going to choose this product to clean with um, when this product right here is three dollars for that big jug this product right here is amazing um, just last night I forgot my favorite cutting brush out in my paint tray and it dried out overnight and I got here this morning and kicked myself so in a little cup I poured some of that in and I stuck my paintbrush in it in 10 minutes it's loosened up and I'm using it again this product has so many uses um, and, and I could actually take you around and show you um, this house is such a mess right now the lighting is very poor um, but there's so many things that have been restored with this that that shouldn't have been able to be restored it, it's amazing um, white comforters these horrible washcloths um, throw them in the laundry you don't put any soap in <laughs> they come out white again it's so amazing um, now this stuff as I said I was gonna tell you a little bit about it once we got toward the end of this video um, and I don't know if this is available to be purchased all over the United States or if it's just a Texas thing but let me see if I can get this in focus I don't know if I can let me see here okay pet stains walls woodwork window frames floors carpet upholstery that is no joke none of that's a joke carpets um the carpet in this house was black and it's normally uh the color of these walls kind of a, a beige color looks brand new um i'll have to try to remember to post pictures of the carpet now that it's clean uh toward the end of this video it, it's amazing how clean the carpets came um let me see clothes stands like I told you the washcloths come out clean glass uh, it is taking the cement right off any of the windows degreasing the only thing that I can compare this smut and soot to is a greasy greasy smut um, this just has so many uses and then so many that it's that's not even listed on here um, this was originally meant as a carpet cleaner for use in carpet cleaning machines um, and of course it says do not use concentrated on glass uh, for really stubborn anything I use it concentrated on everything it is totally awesome it is one of my favorite products in the entire world to use and it is cheap I cannot find it at Walmart I cannot find it at HEB I cannot find it at my local grocer only place I can find it is at the Dollar General store and I can find it in the spray bottle as you see here and I can find it in this 64 fluid ounce jug and that's it 
Um, more stores should carry this because it is the most wonderful product ever put on the market. Uh, I'm very happy about it. If you have any questions, post them at the bottom of the video and I'd be happy to answer them. Y'all have a good night.